there's only one thing you can be sure of when dealing with heights. That's gravity. Your only protection in a fall is your harness and lanyard, but it only takes a single worn section for it to fail. That's why it's essential to visually inspect all your safety rigging before each use. The harness is the first item. In about eight inch sections, bend the webbing in an upside down U. Rock it back and forth. Do this along the whole length of the webbing. Then turn it over and do the other side. Here's what you're looking for. Any damage or tiny little holes. Try to spot any frays. Look for a tear or one that might be starting. Are there dings or cuts? Look for red strings. Are they showing? Here's the deal. You find any of these items, it's time to take the harness out of service. Next comes the D-rings. Check for any warping or cracks, any rough or sharp edges or broken stitching around the D-ring attachments. The D-ring should be able to pivot freely without forcing it. Also inspect the D-ring back pads for any damage. A belt's tongue can get worn down from just buckling and unbuckling. Are there any loose or damaged grommets? There shouldn't be any additional holes punched in the belt. Look for any fraying, including around the buckle, and the buckle should move easily and be clear of any defects. On the mating buckles, check the bar to make sure that they are straight. Do the quick connect buckles engage properly? Is there any debris in the mechanism? So, how many defects before a harness should be taken out of service? Just one. It only takes one break point to keep a harness from catching you in a fall. And how exactly do you remove a harness from service? Cut it up. When it comes to the lanyard, you need to do a similar inspection as to the harness. To help make the inverted U, bend it over a pipe or other similar material. Inspect each side of the lanyard. Is there any evidence of impact? Are there signs of chemical or heat damage, swelling, discoloration, cracking or charring? Also make sure the clips and their locks are both working properly. Remember, a lanyard is just a one-time use only. It's like an airbag. Once deployed, it must be replaced.